All right, I did a, a couple of videos on this 89833 chip. It is a function generator. It outputs sine, triangle, and square waves. And I mentioned in that video that the sine wave was actually generated using a direct digital synthesis or a lookup table. So it has a, a ROM that has points that are the shape of a sine wave. And so it just uses that lookup table to generate a, uh, a sign. And some people thought that maybe that would have great total harmonic distortion. And and I think somebody mentioned a, a, a Wienbridge oscillator and stuff. So anyway, um, so I thought, well, let's go ahead and measure it. That's a good, that's a good question. So I have my demo here and I have it running. Um, so right now uh, we have it here. It's around one kilohertz and it's a nice pretty sine wave. Uh, again, it does, uh, uh, let's see here. It does square waves, it does triangle waves, and it does sine waves. So um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at what the distortion is. So I'm using a Keithley uh, 2015 meter that has total harmonic distortion built into it. Uh, total harmonic distortion is only um, valid over audio frequencies. That particular unit of measurement is only good from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Um, and so 1,000 hertz is in the audio range. And so we can take a look at the uh, THD is about 0.11. And let me increase the uh, frequency here. This is 9 kilohertz. It's gone up a little bit. 0.19, 9 kilohertz. Let's, oop, now I'm out of range. This, this meter knows that it's above 20 kilohertz, so it's not going to give me a number. So let's, uh, oops, let me, I need to go all the way around. I've kind of got a dumb, uh, a dumb program here. Just a second. All right, we're back to a kilohertz. There we go. All right, let's go up here to... Let's go, this is 14.4 kilohertz. It's about a one quarter of a percent. And we'll go up to 20, oh, I went too far again. Anyway, so there you go. It's about 0.1 to 0.2 uh, total harmonic distortion, not great. You're gonna get much better uh, performance out of something like a Wienbridge oscillator. Uh, I did a video on that. Uh, if you take a look at my channel, search on uh, Wienbridge some people call it Winebridge, W-I-E-N, uh, is actually Wien in, in uh, Austrian or wherever, wherever it was originally made, the guy's name. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the various waveforms and we'll take a look at the spectral content. All right, I have the uh, Rigel set up for FFT uh, spectral analysis. And so I have a cursor here, but there's a, a peak here and there's a couple little peaks over here. So the main peak here is at uh, one kilohertz. And then we have a little spike over here at two kilohertz. And of course, one over here at three kilohertz, one over here at four kilohertz. So we can see the spectral content. So that's, um, what the sine wave is doing. So a sine wave uh, ideally should have no spurs out here, should have no harmonics, okay? And so a total harmonic distortion is that you add up all of the harmonics and it should be zero. And if they're non-zero, that's distortion. And so uh, that's what the uh, Keithley instrument does. It does an FFT on the signal and then counts all of the power that's in these uh, spectral lines here, in the uh, harmonic lines, I should say. Um, and so we have the this, and so we're down, let's see, this is a 10, I think this is, let's see, this is dB volts. So anyway, we're, we're down, I don't know how many, how much power you wanna call it, or volts you wanna call that, but um, they're down at a particular level. If this is 10 uh, dB 
in volts, then it's, you know, 10, 20, 30, you know, 30 dB, 30 dB down, something like that. Anyway, you get the idea that V should not be there in a perfect sine wave. All right, let's go to a square wave. Now, a square wave is going to have lots of odd harmonics, okay? And we can see that here's our first harmonic, and here is our third harmonic. And so that's the way square waves work. And if we go to a triangle wave, um, that's kind of somewhere in between. Um, we're getting a big third harmonic and we're getting a nice second harmonic as well. We could zoom out a little bit further. Let's see here. Let's go to math. Let's go FFT. Uh, let's do a end at, instead of 5 kilohertz, I'll do an end at 10 kilohertz. There we go. We can see more of the... Uh, uh, more of this spectral content there. So we'll just kind of run through them. This is what a sine wave looks like. You should have a carrier and nothing else. Uh, there is some averaging on, so we have to wait for it to wait for it to die down. All right, there you go. So that's what the sine wave spectral content looks like. Uh, here is a. Uh, Square wave spectral content, you can see every third harmonic is very large. And then we'll go to the triangle content. Again, wait for the averaging filter to kind of settle down. You can see the second harmonics now coming up, second, fourth, sixth. Um, yeah, so there you go. That answers a couple questions. One is, what is the total harmonic distortion of this chip? About 0.1 to 0.2. And... Uh, I'm just for fun, I'm showing you the spectral content.